This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. You have heard about DALI, Google Image and Stable Diffusion. So these were various AI models to generate images from text prompts. Okay. So here comes this work which talks about editing of these images which have been generated from text prompts by just changing a few words in the text prompt and generating the edited image. So this work is titled as prompt to prompt image editing with cross attention control. This is from Google research and uh, Tel Aviv University researchers. So these are some of the examples of uh, you know this prompt to prompt image editing. For example, if the initial prompt was photo of a cat riding on a bicycle and this was the image which was generated and now you want to edit it as photo of a cat riding on a car and this is the change which happens and this is the edit which is done and this image is generated okay for example landscape with the house near a river and this was the image which was generated right now when you add some text over here and say that and a rainbow in the background so this is the editing done on this image okay on this image this is the editing done and you can see it over here some more examples are given over here like this children drawing of a castle next to a river. A castle next to a river, this is the image and once this additional text is given, right, basically this text is edited and this text is added, you get this image, okay. So uh, let's look at the abstract. So what it says over here is that uh, recently large scale text driven synthesis diffusion models, um, they have remarkable capabilities of generating highly diverse images that follow given text prompts okay so it is natural to build on the synthesis model to provide text driven image editing capabilities but editing is challenging for these generating models since an innate property of an editing technique is to preserve some content from the original image while in the text based models even a small modification of the text prompt leads to a completely different outcome so that is a challenge Right. So what the state of art models do is that they ask the user to provide a spatial mask okay, to localize the edit. Okay, for example, in this case, they would say, okay, you provide a mask of this region to localize it so that I can change this from bicycle to car. The model can change it. Okay. So that is uh, the, the thing, right? Uh, but this ignores the original structure and content within the masked region. Okay, that's the disadvantage. So they are proposing, the authors are proposing a prompt to prompt editing framework where the edits are controlled by text only. Okay, so that is what they are trying to do. Okay, so they have just given an example over here where they're saying that a cat with a hat is lying on a beach chair. So this is the original image which has been generated using the image and text to image diffusion model. Then they say that with their approach, they can replace the hat or the cat or the main character. Okay, for example, a cat can be replaced with any of these things, right? It can be replaced with the leopard, a lion, okay, or it could be, you know, uh, the hat right you can re, uh, replace it with say floral hat okay or it could be a police hat right so this is uh, you know your image editing which is based on the changes in the text prompt okay and here you are you need not specify any local uh, spatial mask for this change okay so another example is given over here which says the fluffiness right so uh, my fluffy bunny doll and this is the image now you want to make it a little bit less fluffy okay you want to make it a little bit more fluffy so you can change that okay so here is another example which they are saying over here the ball ball yards are crowded today okay the ball yards are crowded today so this is a crowd and they want to less crowded okay that is what this indi uh, arrow indicator says over here and here you can see that the crowding is less okay so how does this work? What is the key idea behind this? Okay. So the key idea what they say is that uh, the spatial layout and geometry of an image depend on the cross attention maps. Okay. So here they are showing the cross attention maps. Okay. How it uh, attend to the words that describe them. 
For example, furry, it shows which pixels it has attended in this image. Bear, which pixels. Watches, right, which pixels. It's on the eyes, right. Uh, okay, some generic thing. But bird, it shows that it attends to these pixels. Okay, so that was their key observation. Okay, so this is the average cross attention map across all the timestamps. This is cross attention maps for individual timestamps. Okay. So what they are saying is that the main idea is to inject the cross attention maps during the diffusion process, controlling which pixels attend to which tokens of the prompt text during which diffusion steps. Okay. So that is the idea over here. So with the diffusion model, what happens is that you keep generating intermediate images, right? So during the intermediate image generation, it attends to various words. That is what they have understood from this cross attention map over here, right? So by modifying those cross attention maps, you can actually control what kind of output is generated. Okay. So what they say over here is that uh, one is called word swap control. Okay. So this is replacement where a token in the prompt like a dog or a cat is actually changed. But the scene uh, is preserved. Okay. So they preserve the scene composition. This is a replacement kind of this thing. Then there is also prompt refinement control. We add new words to the prompt and freeze the attention to the previous tokens while allowing the attention to flow to the new tokens. So this is the example where we had this rainbow, right? You wanted to, uh, you know, add the rainbow in the background. That means the attention to whatever landscape with the house near a river on these tokens should be frozen because no changes have to happen but you know this rainbow needs to be added so that is the second kind of your prompt refinement okay this enables to perform a global editing or modify a specific object okay right that is a prompt refinement then you have attention reweighting control we increase or decrease the attention weights of specified token. This results with the amplification or attention of the semantic effect of the tokens on the generated image. So reweighting is this particular case where you wanted to do modify the image, say for example, less fluffy, more fluffy, things like that. Okay. So this is the key idea over here. Okay. So what they are saying is that if I go back to the abstract, what they are saying is that we analyze a text conditioned model in depth and observe that the cross intention layers are key to controlling the relation between the spatial layer of the image to each word in the prompt. With this approach, we propose to control the attention ma maps of the edited image by injecting attention maps of the original image along the diffusion process. So it is some kind of controlled diffusion process whereby in the diffusion process you are inserting modified attention maps so that your output can be modified okay so because of this what they are saying is that you can have uh, low, uh, you can have a caption based editing application like replacing a word that is localized global editing by adding a specification controlling the extent to which a word is reflected in the image okay as I explained over here in these three types of, you know, uh, modified cross attention control. Okay. So here are some word swap examples. So this is the source image and this is the modified image where apples is replaced by cookies. Right. This is an example of a basket replaced by the bowl. Right. A basket is replaced by a box and so on. Okay. So here is a photo of a butterfly on a flower. Okay. Now you want to change from flower to bread and this is the image which has been generated and these are the various images where this flower has been replaced by a mug, a computer, a mirror, a snail, right? Uh, butterfly to snail. This is the second change, right? Uh, this is a drone, butterfly to drone. Okay. So the thing in these images is that it looks very uh, natural in the sense that you don't see any artifacts in these images in when this particular edit has been done right so the context and other things are uh, quite maintained well okay so here are examples of prompt refinement uh, this is like glow local or global editing right so here a photo of bear wearing sunglasses and having a drink now you are changing these sunglasses to squared okay you get this this is localized right colorful sunglasses ski sunglasses so you can see these different images which have been 
generated and here is a change in the drink okay this is uh, from um, you know a beer drink coffee drink wheatgrass drink and based on that the colors have changed right here it is a car on the side of the street now you are changing globally like flooded street right snowy street at night historic street so you can see that the images are being modified okay this is some kind of in the morning at autumn uh, at manhattan okay so these are some examples of prompt refinement and here are some examples of attention reweight okay the picnic is ready under a blossom tree okay less focus on the blossom tree more on this thing so you can see that these are the some of the images which have been generated a smiling teddy bear so you are trying to increase the smile on the teddy bear's face photo of a field of poppies at night so the emphasis is that it's not complete night but in the sense it's not totally dark right so you know a little bit night conditions okay so they also say that you can add a style description to the prompt while injecting the source attention maps so you can also create something like you know photo of something and then in the form of a painting right so it could be source image is this relaxing photo of a dramatic photo in the jungle in the desert so you are introducing some kind of styles right again waterfall between the mountains so in kind of paintings right source image is this you can change it to watercolor between the mountains watercolor waterfall charcoal so this is different styles which have been introduced over here so this is quite an interesting work the best part is that they have also released the code right you can try out these notebooks over here in this particular code uh, to see how it works and whether you would want to make use of it some for some use cases they have also uh, you know use they have used pre trained models through hugging face diffusers and they say that uh, yeah at least 12 gb vram is required for some of these uh, code and they have two notebooks over here prompt to prompt uh, ldm and prompt to prompt stable uh, this is latent diffusion model and this is stable diffusion model so yeah they make use of these two uh, models for uh, generation and based on that they have modified it so you can also check these uh, codes for some reason it's showing this but it should be present over here i think yeah they are there over here so you can also try these notebooks and see how it works okay so i hope this video on prompt to prompt image editing with cross attention control is useful for you some interesting ideas are presented in this particular work i would be putting the link to this particular site you can also check the paper and code i hope uh, you like this video if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video happy learning